what is going on everybody it's phoenix here and if you guys didn't know the show gen b dropped last year and in the show we met the blood manipulation protege marie moreau and before that we met victoria newman and ever since then i feel like ever since gen b dropped there's been an argument over who would win in a fight bloody marie or the head papa herself if they were to fight each other so without a doubt we're gonna go ahead and get right into it we're gonna go ahead and solve it so make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button down below hit that subscribe button and let's go ahead and jump right into it but to start things off both of these characters are from the red river institute starting off with victoria newman herself we learned earlier on from season two up until now is that she can use her mind to control a person's blood flow by looking at the person and manipulates it to the point where it becomes too much where their body part explodes since they can't control the crazy amount of blood pressure going into it as well as the person or animal has to be in her line of sight for it to work for her and can't even let the boys know when she's near causing them to bleed along with that she also has boosted durability as we saw that she was able to take being thrown into a metal dumpster by tony in season three as well as taking acid to the face by huey and a bullet to her head by butcher in season four now as for marie moreau there is the entirety of gen v that we can pull from when having putting her up against newman starting off with that she's able to control other people's blood when they're injured and she's able to get the blood moving again which we saw in episode one when it comes to this this has me wondering how this ability would work in combat along with along with her having the exact same ability as the head popper herself which is that she's able to pop people's limbs off which we do see whenever she blows up kate's arm in the final episode of gen v as well as she has the blood sense which allows her to sense other people's blood around her and sense when someone's about to die good examples of this is when she uses this to sense where maverick is to knock him out as well as she was able to tell when kate's pulse was low on top of that she was also able to tell that compound b was in victoria newman's system which should make her blood sense a lot better than newman's as well along with her having boosted durability just like newman when she got thrown by sam and maverick and got back up with broken bones as well as her taking homelander's heat vision with andre stating that you took that blast like a fucking champ anyone else would be in the ground with homelander's heat vision being that it has the potential of being hotter than the sun now as for their weaknesses they are both weak to intense sound which causes a lot of pain but for newman in case it's having her eyes covered as for marie it's power instability which we did see from episode one whenever she first got her powers along with that she was also able to use other people's blood around her to make projectiles which are going at superhuman speeds which is calculated to be going at 28.4 meters per second so in a one-on-one -on -one setting the one coming out on top is marie since we saw how much it can be fully utilized so with that i hope you guys did enjoy this video make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button down below if you guys want to see some more power scaling in the future i'm thinking insomniac craven versus arkham batman so without a doubt let me know if you guys did enjoy this video and i'll see you guys later peace out